Hello, uh, Professor Mocking, and uh, we're great to be here at Cork. Um, Swamiji, as he's called, or Swami Vivek Ananda, was not called Swami Vivek Ananda right from the beginning. Just to be who he was, he was a global icon or the monk or the Hindu monk from India. That's how he was introduced at the uh, World Parliament of Religions. His values and ethos reached a peak, a zenith, within a very short period of time that he was alive, because he was not alive for a very long time. So his phases in his life are very universal and very universally accepted in today's day and age. His phases in his life went through from being a normal young man or a boy to a wonderful musician, to believing in the goddess Kali through his mentor, that is Ramakrishna, and then uh, discovering a doctrine of values and principles and um, a spiritual path for India to follow because um, he was a guiding force uh, at that time of India between the 1870 and 1905, after which the partition um, uh, started of Bengal. As he was seen in the general literature, he was always in an orange turban, and that's why we call him a Swami, because he was the uh, hermit, the so-called hermit, and um, he was extensively uh, travelled, as you can see from the exhibition. The exhibition of line paintings today actually uh, depicts the places that he went to, and the places that you know belonged to him, and the places that he was born, the place where he died, places in a very northern part of India, near the Himalayas, which was his heaven, as you will also see in the film that has been shown after the evening. The year-long celebrations end in January 2014 globally and uh, in the last one year there has just not been uh, conferences and symposiums but widespread uh, realization programs and access programs for schools um, and um, this icons interactions with other icons. So this evening we will go through a very interesting story of his life where we will um, look at him as a musician and him as a solo musician singing the songs of Tagore and what the two thought of each other because they both came from the north part of the city of Calcutta. And um, through this in, uh, interchange and exchange of ideas, um, Tagore's music was very well liked by Swamiji and O Vivekananda and he him, himself practiced Tagore's music right till the last day of his life. So that's how the uh, evening moves on. I think he's um, seen a little differently now at the uh, conclusion of 150 years um, on and that's precisely um, my friend William's um, lecture this um, afternoon was that 150 years on where um, the icon stands and where his values stand. Um, outside India he really wouldn't strike an immediate bell but uh, with a bit of push especially after the 150 years of celebrations people will know who he is but in India it stands out as universal as a universal preacher teacher and a philosopher and a guide of the independent India. His teachings were very very similar to Bertrand Russell if you've um, seen the ideas that have helped mankind is um, his teachings were basically aimed at Hinduism but it was for the whole of mankind and that's how he landed up in Chicago for the convention and um, the mainly his uh, teaching was universal understanding and tolerance and truth. Um, very many people were inspired by him the local uh, the modern leaders of uh, India independent India that is Gandhiji and um, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Nehru and they were very much um, uh, influenced by him so that was mainly his uh, path. We've come from London and with me there is a um, drummer Mr. Sarathi Korwar and an internationally acclaimed dancer Oindri Ghosh. I will be doing the um, talking and the uh, music. Um, this is a multimedia presentation which uh, presents little snippets of poetry, reading, dance, music and audiovisual clips. Why I say audio is there's a film at the end which has got an audio recording to it. So 
it's a multimedia uh, presentation of a certain aspect of Swamiji's life, as you would see, um, which goes through incidents. And in those incidents, um, there's a mention of certain proper nouns, the proper names of big figures of those times, and you know how how it moved on, and how incident each incident was based on a particular Tagore song. Um, there is interestingly there is some music um, included in the piece, which um, was written and um, tuned by him, and sung by him as well. Uh, we have some of his old recordings, like we do of his speech of his music as well but uh, they've not been you know preserved as much as his speeches are because that's what he uh, of course uh, you know became more famous as the years went by and he was not a singer anymore so in the late 1890s and the first two years of um, the 20th century as technology was becoming more and more modern it was easier for people to keep hold on to footage uh, more of his speeches mm -hmm. and preachings but we lost uh, quite a lot of his recordings. So today's will be, evening will be based on his interaction with and cross-influence with Tagore, the other icon, which were very similar to age and um, in age, and um, you know, uh, lived in the same part of the town. And we celebrated Tagore's 150th anniversary um, a year ago, which ended. So I think it complements very well. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.